sentence. <laughs> Every two sentences, Josh says some shit about <laughs> prison and oh. locked up because he's nonstop watching the damn 60, what is it, 60 days in? Oh, this guy. Okay. He is nonstop about it. He's obsessed. It's, it's what just, they like to call it institutionalized. I believe. Well, <laughs> they, they're just mad because he owes me a couple of soups, so. Oh, exactly. <laughs> He's, he also some commissary. Hey, Josh, that soup king, you know? Josh has got <laughs> Pruno in that fucking, that's not water in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's toilet wine. Oh, shit. Here we go again. 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 We're supposed to be a unit. So, a unit. I just been doing some studying just in case I missed that free throw, you know. Gotta be ready. <laughs> intentionally missed you almost you almost want to miss it though. It's weird. Like yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of Oops. like oh the wind. You know, like we're your friends, and you know, it's kind of like you you want. <laughs> Josh, should you really be eating that popcorn before you take this shot? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Josh is like, it's only six months. <laughs> just like, throw it backwards. Granny shot. <laughs> I, but then I actually make it. I'm like, fuck. Fuck. Oh, yeah, my right? studying. <laughs> <laughs> and then you punch the cop right in his face. <laughs> like, <"Huh?" laughs> I was like, great shot. Great shot. <laughs> <laughs> you could use that money to bail yourself out, you know? Like, no, nah, no, nah, it's okay. I'll just, I'll do the time. I'll save it to buy soup. <laughs> <laughs> You're under arrest for assaulting an officer. Guilty. Guilty. Not even on guilty. I'm guilty. Send me in. Send me fucking, in. I'm ready. And of course, with Derek's fucking Irish luck, he's going to be on the jury stand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, uh, way, yeah. Guilty. Derek, Mr. Jury Duty up in this piece, make a graphic novel about the kid. So obviously I wanted to get to earlier, but what'd you guys think of that uh, LeBron James? People's elbow? Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember the other dude's name. Isaiah? Um, Isaiah something. Uh, yeah. Forgot. But yeah. I mean, whew. damn. I will, it, you, you, you're going to start it. So what, what do you think? I Well, first of all, when I first saw it, we've all played sports before. So I was thinking, like, what? we know, like, one thing I was thinking is, like, we have control of our bodies. Like, when you're in sports, for the most part, right? Like, whether, you know, you're blocking somebody or you're blocking somebody or you're blocking somebody. Oh, there's a lot of blocking going on in these fucking sports. <laughs> okay, Picks. are you set to pick and roll? There you go. Thanks, Josh. Pick and roll, screens, whatever. And uh, you're like, all right, I know what I can get away with, what I can't get away with. That, that just... I mean, he just got caught. I mean, but old boy took it way out of proportion. I was like, I mean, but did you see his eye? Like, yeah, that was bad. I mean, it yeah. was bleeding. Mm. So I mean, it's that's not just like a oh, that's a. Oof. Also, <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't help. I'm pretty sure when you can taste blood, nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. And you can like oh. see the blood in your eye. I'm sure that doesn't help yeah. the situation. And be like, oh yeah, I'll relax. No problem. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll relax. Yeah. That must suck. I, I just, I just, I, like you said, we've all played sports before. We all know stuff like that happens, but we know to a point how much was involved with like thought of like, <laughs> I know this dude's right here, my arms on him. And he was all up, like, I mean, he was like kind of over, overly aggressive with LeBron and like, giving him that nudge to be like hey like i i gotta nudge this dude back he just did, did it with the, the arm that was up already and straight to the eye like that there are really good arguments on on both sides on the side of him and the side of lebron and i was like man i get it you want to try super hard you know what i'm saying you're going against the king you know you want to do your thing but yeah i don't know i saw the basket was in also the blood and the red also, like, poor, poor, like, trainers, like, the dude that's like, I'm just here to tape up your ankles. It just gets fucking trampled. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Hey, 
That, I, I wonder if there's some NFL teams like, hey, we need a running back. Uh, this dude just plowed four guys. Uh, <laughs> I was like, that guy's that guy's definitely getting drug tested after this. That's <laughs> all right. Have you guys ever been in situations? You guys don't obviously don't strike me as like people that like Aggressive. even like maybe push or even I would say even shit talk. To be honest with you, you guys kind of like let the play talk. Um, but have you been in situations where somebody's giving you shit? Like as a sporting event? I, I mean, yeah, but yeah. definitely <laughs> in basketball, people like talk shit. But that, like, like you said, I just kind of like let the game explain it. I don't know. I've never been like a shit talker. Like, Josh is definitely <laughs> no Kevin Garnett. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, here to, I'm here to play, you know? Josh would be like, yeah, well, your shoe's untied. <laughs> excuse me good sir think, your shoe is untied i don't think i've ever really been like that aggressive with anything i mean i think there are times where like i've wanted to like yeah like i guess people are just like talking crap or whatever and um because on some real shit, Derek, you played, like, one of the hardest positions in football, defensive back. And that's, like, I know there's shit talking. And then track, like, collegiate track, there might not be shit talking in collegiate track, but I know there's a lot of... Uh, <sighs> like, hey, shut the fuck that, up. How dope would it be, though, if you're just, like, sprinting and just talking shit while you're passing them? Like... <laughs> Uh, you loser. <laughs> you, slow, just, you, you tortoise. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> I, I, dude, I, have like to get... 20, I can't think of funny shit to say within that short amount of time. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's a like, bad thing. Yeah. You don't have That's to say you... a lot, man. Just as you're passing somebody, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, that's that's why you stay up all we, night and like write things down in your notebook <laughs> and like have it ready. In you the know? mirror, right? Yeah, just, practice. Oh, too loud. Too loud. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think <laughs> would, I would, would calling like, someone a slowpoke as a sprinter be like the worst insult ever? <laughs> I mean, kind of, I guess. You you play ball like a girl. <laughs> I never got that. I was like, <laughs> what? I mean, it's 2021 now, so that needs to yeah. be a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, did you ever think, get competitive uh, like that in soccer? No, like uh, I was just about to say, like, I don't think. I, obviously i'm not i'm not a shit talker i i'm definitely like hey wow. my, my game's about to just trash you in itself but and dave has tree trunks for legs could you I imagine did. for I like yeah could you imagine like shin guards but like dave's shin guards are like xxl <laughs> well, that, that was one thing especially for me because like you know people would think like i'm always the probably the shortest on the field one of them so like they always think oh they could just like you know throw me around or give me a nudge and I'm out of there, but um, I'm, I'm hitting it right back. And it, I, I don't think people realize like how soccer it's, I mean, obviously it's not like football. I'm not, we're not tackling, but it, it gets, it gets real aggressive and just real, real feisty to where you can, I mean, you can get, you know, thrown down and whatnot and it'd be legal in a sense. So I think just not, not saying anything because I feel like I was, I was, probably gonna be like a josh out there and be like oh you lint liquor <laughs> you know like <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> like that what? like I, I'm, I'm not quick on my feet with with the uh, with the comebacks or nothing so i definitely was not like saying anything but i mean i, I feel like we all did it that we we play against that guy that is and you're just like dude i'm trying my hardest to just screw this guy up and i I, I get so much enjoyment out of like stealing the ball from the dude that talks so much shit or, you oh, know, whatever. Yeah, that's great. Right. Like that, that right there is oh, satisfying. That's how I felt too. I think like uh, this was our junior year. So Josh was on the team, but we were playing basketball um, against another school. And this guy was talking shit the whole time. And he was, they were losing the whole game. Like they were <laughs> like, we, I specifically remember this was one of the games we put a hundred on somebody. And like back in the day, like you don't put a hundred on a high school team. It's <laughs> like you're balling, and we're not like Mount Zion High School Preparatory Academy for basketball <laughs> learning and basketball studies. We, 
but we were beating the shit out of this guy. And this guy was talking shit the whole time as I'm stealing the ball from him. I'm like, God, you're lucky I'm a man of God. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not the easiest, probably the only thing I've ever said trash talking wise? Scoreboard. Like, <laughs> you know, yeah. like just scoreboard, dude. Exactly. Like, yeah, just. Oh, I never, I, I never really liked. That. I mean, I get it. That's, I mean, sports is fun. Competitiveness, just in anything, is fun. But uh, I don't know. There's a, there's a line between like giving somebody a hard time and like shit talk. Uh, right. I mean, the only time, the only time I actually like, yeah, the only time I actually like w- went back and forth shit talking was during football, I guess, but. Kind of like Dave said, like I was, I was like I was one of the shortest dudes on the field, and I was always covering like six two or six three dudes. Um, but even most of the time, I just I don't know, I just didn't feel like putting energy into talking crap to people, except <laughs> like. But you knew I was if I was like you knew I was really into a game if I was talking crap to somebody because <laughs> um, the one time like I guess the worst time was like I almost got flagged for it and. You know, everybody was pissed, but whatever. But it was like Chaparral, I think, senior year. And I was guarding this dude that I think he went to Michigan later. And he was just supposed to be like a really big deal. And he kept talking crap to me. And I was like, I would just tell him, you, have, you don't have any catches on me. Like, what do you, <laughs> what, what is going on here? You haven't, even, you, haven't, you haven't even scored in the game. Like, it was bad. And like, it was a really back and forth game. So everybody's really into it. And then, I think we were playing like Desert View one time and it was like our first defensive play of the game, I guess. And the coach saw me line up against the receiver. It was like 6'3 and, <clears throat> and I was on like next to their sideline and the coach was like, oh, he can't cover our receiver. Just let's just throw fades on him. And um, I- yeah, so then like the thing, the cool thing about me, even though like I was short, like I was, I was pretty strong for my size, I guess. So um I just started jamming the dude like the entire game and he couldn't get off the line of scrimmage or anything. And then like I busted his lip and um, actually I think I knocked him out of the game for a couple plays after one hit. And then at the end of the game, we're, we're all shaking hands and stuff. And the coach was like, he, he shook my hand. He's like, good coverage number seven. And I was like, where was that dude? I couldn't cover though. I couldn't find him. And um, <laughs> coach was like, the coach just looked at me. <laughs> like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> bring it. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, man. It was just yeah. yeah I've never been just, I've never been so thrown off. Where I'm like, all right, let me go after somebody. Even though people like talk shit, I'm like, I uh, <laughs> like that's the that's the thing though. Like you're talking, you're just like ah, it's so much energy. How do you have breath for this? <laughs> like just right now, I could have like, and there's obviously we've seen it before where the in college football or just any football where the ball gets overthrown. No <laughs> way, no way there's any way of a receiver catching it or the defensive back catching it, anybody catching it. But for some reason it's like, lock down. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it was up. the wind, dude. We get it. You control the air. Shut the <laughs> fuck up already. Fucking airbender over here. Airbender. <laughs> oh, Avatar. Avatar. I know that one. Avatar. I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> kind of keep it on sports uh have you guys seen king richard not yet oh, i heard yes, I, I, i've been wanting to see it though bro watch it okay. it is dope man it's it, yeah it's so so that, that might be one of the best movies of the year and will smith definitely did his thing and oh. that's gonna be like a classic that's gonna be a classic movie like that's sports the Titans, right? Or yeah, like yeah. Coach Carter, or uh, I, it's, man, it's just crazy that I mean, a lot of that. I, I mean, I don't know for a fact, but I know a guy who read uh, up on Serena and uh, Venus, and um, a lot of that's pretty pretty accurate. So, if, and if that's true, <laughs> then damn, like it's if you guys haven't seen it, like definitely watch, watch it. Even if you're not like into tennis, if you're not into any of that, like it's still like it's a good one. Very good, very good movie. Classic. Am I gonna cry? You, yeah, yeah. you might. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she I might. didn't. Cause I'm uh, a fucking I mean, man and shit. Yeah, like we're thugs, so we can't cry. But <laughs> these are manly tears. 
You're pimp. You're I'm pimp. just I'm just sweating <laughs> from my eyeballs. That's what my mama says. <laughs> to work out allergies yeah. and shit. But yeah, no, you're definitely you're definitely gonna cry. Right? It was it's uh yeah, it's, it's crazy. I mean it's not really a spoiler alert, so I'm gonna say it because you could just look it up. At 14 turning down a three million dollar contract before you even played a pro match. Cause you're like, no, nah, I want to show the everyone what I could do and like earn it basically. That's nuts. Obviously it paid out a hell of a lot. Of I agree. Match, it's really, so. it's, it's extreme foresight. Um, also oh. another spoiler alert, uh, Venus and Serena Williams are really good at tennis. So <laughs> <laughs> you haven't watched the movie Real yet. Sorry guy. to spoil it for you. <laughs> Thank you for that nugget of information. Jordan. <laughs> mm-hmm. but, yeah. But no, I'm with Dave because it was. I was like, "That's a lot of money, dude." Especially, I mean, like they're they they're from like, Compton, like the ghetto. Just like they had like the tiniest home. They all shared one room. Venus and Serena shared a bed, like like coming from nothing. And she's like, "Nah, yeah. I, I don't want that three mil." That's freaking crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was very inspirational. That's it's awesome, man. Yeah, the whole casting, the whole casting was really good. Yeah. That's uh HBO. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh thanks by the way, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Alana, for my HBO. So, someone uh someone's like, Oh, you got HBO Max? Who you got it from? And I was like, <laughs> okay, I'm not I'm not no snitch. Hey, hey like, Dave. Just just like when just like when someone gives you a piece of gum, you don't say where you got that piece of gum from. Oh, man, that, that, yeah. that, that new, oh. that new at high school like you'd be like hey you got gum no i got mine from oh. coker like, yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> yeah i used to always have gum with me and i would i would like the hard hard just no you gotta get like, it hey, one person hey, sees hey, yeah <laughs> what is with that dave what you got your breath is smelling dave, extra dave you got gum in there dave Mom, mm. I'm picking my nose, damn it. That was that was true. I never, yeah, I never brought anything, or I was like Dave, I was like super. Let me go to the bathroom real quick. Yeah. I was like, that's it wasn't that's drugs. Cool. We thought you were doing drugs, where you're just going to <laughs> put a stick of gum and. No, I, was like, I just want some big red. Fuck, <laughs> I just want some in big peace. Red. You know Can I have my juicy juice, juice <laughs> without anybody fucking with me? Wait, that, that was with everything. I remember I did what did that with Josh. Uh, what is it? Your mom made uh, spam wasabis, and he bought him the he bought him. It's like, oh, you shouldn't have done that, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you should not have done that. <laughs> what were they called again? Spam wasabis. <laughs> spam wasabi. Spam wasabi. <laughs> spam wasabi. Sounds like a villain in a fucking Disney movie. Yeah, Spam yeah, Wasabi. Yeah. Josh looks like a villain in a Disney movie. Yeah, he does. The fuck is that supposed to mean? Yeah. You said. You guys remember when uh, all that little things came out about like all the hidden stuff in Disney movies? Yeah. Like when um, Simba like lays down on that cliff and like all those things fly. It's like, spell sex. Stars. Yeah. 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 There's always that, um, this isn't like a Disney movie, but like Wizard of Oz, there's like, oh, there's somebody that hung themselves in the back. Look, you can see their legs dangling. I was like, I don't, I don't know. If- uh, <laughs> but of course, as a little kid, you're like, that motherfucker's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the Little Mermaid cover. All this oh, stuff. Little Mermaid cover. Wait, what, yeah, like- what's on there? <laughs> it's a penis. You guys ever seen that one? Really? Like no. on the original no. cover, the VHS cover, like in the castle, like it's like a hidden, there's a hidden penis in there. Yeah. Google it, dude. Do you think there's some just like little Google little, little perv a hole that like is how is is like on the staff and he's like, oh, I'm a, it's gonna be yeah, cool. probably. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> me. You wait until they <laughs> sex yeah, in the later. stars. Doesn't, she... that, doesn't that make you wonder though, like how disappointed they are though? Because these movies came out in like 1993 and people were just finding it in, like right, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, he was waiting. He gave up. Oh, also, a uh, uh, report back. Jingle all the way does hold up. Um, 
but it's super 90s like there's a very weird vibe about like the parades and just the way people i guess comedy back then was different it was it was weird like insulting and it not be like uh frowned upon and shamed yeah pretty much there was a yeah yeah um Turbo Man, first of all, Arnold Schwarzenegger is not shit in that movie. Uh, but he does, he, just, he gets better. But he was, I was like, fuck that guy. He's not a real dad. Also, he's not like, a real dad. <laughs> Neglectful kid, as hell. Oh, this is another like old school about it. That kid was like, I don't care what you want. You're not my dad. You don't have anything like his room is really fucking nice and got like the good kind of globe, not like the globe that you get at the dollar <laughs> store. Great. Like the real globe that you can turn around. They have globes at the dollar store. I don't know, Josh. <laughs> just, you just said they did. I don't. I, I when I go to the dollar store, I'm not saying where, where your globe section at. I just said it. Why the like, Why the fuck not? <laughs> If they're fire selling job. globes, why would you not buy a globe at the dollar store? Because I only have a dollar and like the Arizona iced tea or a globe. Like, really? <laughs> What's going to last longer, though, Jordan? But what do I want? <laughs> you still go to GameStop? Like, trade? you guys trade games and shit? Like, no, nah, dude. I haven't done that. I, just I can find that $5 now. in my car. <laughs> oh <laughs> seriously right? though like, it's so bad like you just bought, i just bought this game yesterday i'd like to trade it back in oh, we'll best i could do is twelve dollars yeah like twelve dollars in game, game or in store credit it's, oh you it's want cash open yet that'll be better like take bucks. your better take your punk ass to bookman's like <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that, that killed me though the difference of like in game or uh in store credit was like 50 bucks cash 10. Yeah. Right. My thing, wait, so wait, I what? guess like, my how, only thing because you guys, so you guys have been like down, you guys don't have any physical copies, it's been downloading for a while. So is it, would you say it's just probably like, like the convenience? Cause you still have to pay for it, right? Well, I mean, like there's convenience and then there's like, you don't really have to worry about the condition of the discs anymore. Yes. Like, and, <clears throat> and like, you can. Okay. But it's 60 bucks, right? So let's just say there is a game that you actually have to pay for. It's not on like pass or anything. So you pay the 60 bucks, you download it, right? Yeah. So when you're done with it, you just kind of like stow it away forever. Yeah. I mean, it's you on your profile. So as long as you have that profile, yeah, you, can, you never lose you can it. use it on whatever console as long as you can get that profile. What if you just I don't mean, want it anymore? A disc, just leave it. It doesn't, it's not going to take up any space, but a disc would take up space. Over years, if you collected a hundred discs, you're like, "Where the fuck do I put these?" This box in my closet is taking up room. I need to put my new socks here. You know, <laughs> you put your games in your sock drawer, dude. <laughs> they don't worry about where I put my fucking games. Okay. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> this is where the term called keistering comes in, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Want to see? So it's like, whoa, where'd you get that <laughs> My ass, like, oh, Josh. It's true. <laughs> Hi, babe. Hey, you want cookies? Yeah. Yeah. She didn't even eat your dinner yet. Cookies. Yeah. yeah. It's wow. Daddy, it's daddy's night, so it's a fun night, you know? Oh, yeah. Listen, that was, we're all adults now, but when my mom went out of town or had work stuff to do, Listen, it was ice cream and cake <laughs> for dinner. It was breakfast all day long. Listen, have you ever just like fr fried up the whole pan of bacon and just oh, had it and just had shit. it there? Yes. Just like, just like little, do you know, like the little M&Ms in the bowls, you know, you just like grab a couple of <laughs> M&Ms every now and then, but bacon, dude. I was like, yes, father. 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 <laughs> Papa. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, my parents caught me like stealing like jelly beans and those little things at the store. And, <laughs> of course, they're the fucking... those ones yeah. you put in the bag, right? Yeah, like you, you scoop them out in the little jar or the little jar, you put them in a bag. 
I would always take like I was home when I was little, Rags and my parents caught me. And it made me pay 50 cents to the cashier and then Damn. tell them that I freaking stole jelly beans. And then Damn. I got my money. Ass you got locked up, dude. Convict. Con- convict. Oh, that's <laughs> Yeah, that must have been, but you got to learn, right? You didn't do that shit again, did you? Did you, you do did it again you? next week? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's not about not doing it again. It's just about being smarter the next time you do it. So I would eye. just say I'm going to go look at, like, backpacks or something. But I was, look I was all up in that candy. Wow, that's a felony, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm the person that steals stuff. Are you stealing my shit? <laughs> man, I was stealing, lying, cheating my way all the way through school, man. I was. Uh, I definitely stole a hell of a We're recording. In high school. <laughs> like, it was, it was nice. You, hell of milks. Like, you stole, oh. like, a couple yeah. extra chocolate milks. Like, you put one on the tray, right? And then you hide, like, two underneath the tray and, like, slide it along. The, like, oh, yeah, just kind of like you got. I have small hands. Hmm. <laughs> I have I'm small hands. Back calcium son <laughs> that reminds me of freaking oh um, so in high school i don't know you remember how um if you were buying lunch from like a little cafeteria they'd have little you'd have to like wait kind of i guess in lines and they'd let you in like 20 at a time or whatever yeah um, there was like a lady like the lady that would always like let us in when she found out that i was on varsity football like she would always let me cut to the front of the line and she would let me take like extra chocolate milks and stuff because, special <laughs> because, treat man I was five five and one hundred and thirty pounds. She, she she wanted to make sure that like I I ate and freaking that I didn't like go Yo, through a day like malnutrition and, and stuff like. Oh man, you know, know that, that uh, you know, that you know I had to wait in line. It was hot. <laughs> <laughs> the hot Cheetos. Yeah. I mean, I would have the hot Cheetos had a different ingredients back then, and I would have. Man, anything hot che- hot Cheetos. People in hot Cheetos, man, that was a. Uh, <laughs> I just remember like just watching people freaking throw up red from eating hot Cheetos and then going <laughs> to conditioning and stuff. Like, <laughs> didn't they make them like uh, like baked ones or whatever, and they just taste like cardboard with some like red man. stuff on? Well, dude, with all baked cardboard with cayenne pepper on it. Or <laughs> yeah. watching the kids yeah. eat the hot Cheetos, right? Okay, so you still like you know lick all the dust off your fingers. But they still, like, go to their eye immediately. Like, bro, what a dumbass. They're like, oh, yeah. Those demonic people, man. By the way, like, stop touching that. Thanks. Jesus. Bless you. I made my shoulder hurt. Damn. I made my shoulder hurt. (laughs) You're getting old. How'd you throw your shoulder? I sneezed. I definitely, mm. yeah, that is some old people shit right there, Derek. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I did kind of, I didn't throw out my back, but I definitely tweaked it, sneezing. I was holding no, I did, uh, no, yeah, I got sick like a few weeks ago, and I, I kept sneezing, and like, I almost, I almost like pulled my glutes. No, no <laughs> joke. I was, I was freaking limping and stuff for, for like your glutes from sneezing. Yeah, yeah, Wait, dude. What? I found what? out that there's a form though. There's a form to sneezing. It's and, very um, tight butthole. <laughs> Goodness. I am so confused right now. Hmm. He has a cramp. He, he sneezes so hard he has a cramp. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> you guys make it seem like it's impossible. I'm just waiting for this to happen to one of you. Not impossible, just w- weird. Like I those stretched. two shouldn't go together. <laughs> Your body tenses up, man. So stuff Dude, the, happens. The hip bone is connected to the thigh bone and the did you did you have to fart while you sneezed? Like ah, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I know what you're talking about. I definitely have, just when Derek was starting, I've sneezed a few times, like, the fuck? Double check and make sure, because I felt like I got kicked in my chest one time. (laughs) Oh, shit. Yeah, man. Actually, people have died from sneezing, so don't don't let that be you, America. I don't want to ever sneeze again. Don't hold your sneezes in. No, oh. you, everybody, hold your sneezes in like a real G. Don't let that be <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, yeah. a real G. Sneeze, sneeze with your eyes open. <laughs> yes, hold your sneezes in, and then oh, keep your eyes open while you do it. <laughs> I know, I know, Josh. I've seen those uh, those TikToks of that guy. Hold your sneeze in. Be a man. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> be a man. You're just crying and shit, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Oh, also yawning. Yawning's not shit either. Like uh, sometimes you gotta maybe I don't know hold that shit in. You just like, and then it's like tingly all in your nose. You like, <laughs> do, do you do you try to hold your yawn or like cover it? Like keep your mouth closed while you're talking to somebody? <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad when I yawn in front of somebody like, like they're telling uh, like a boring story, but I'm like, I'm, I'm listening. I swear. I'm not bored. I just this is, got to fucking yeah. yawn. <laughs> This is not, it's not you. I mean, the story is boring, but that's not why. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not it. Mad, but Josh offending the shit out of people. Like, so <laughs> my daughter was like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, your daughter. Okay. <laughs> so fucked up, Josh. <laughs> I, I try to yawn in front of Josh when he's telling me a story so I can let him know, like, it sucks, but I just, I can't yawn on command. And I keep on rolling. I don't stop. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah i'll and just fake, replay it again <laughs> the fake yawns are never natural right it's always like duh. <laughs> like all right obviously <laughs> island boy fox <laughs> I, <laughs> I, tried to get that, I tried to get that stuck in josh's head last time we worked <laughs> i didn't know people were going as hot going as them for Halloween. I thought that shit oh, I was didn't know that. hilarious. It's crazy, like the stupidest shit. Then they go, they get so viral from that, what? dude. Like, why don't we make some stupid why, song up? Why the face tattoos though? And like, they don't even mean shit. Like, the guy's got seventeen right here. It's it's his lucky it's number. It's not even a good number. It's not. Android seventeen, man. It doesn't even look aesthetic. My birthday's the seventeenth. Shut up, Josh. Josh, no one, no one <laughs> He's on the Android that. 17. <laughs> no one asked. Josh, like, Josh. Oh, oh, John. But hey, also if you're happy, I it's weird to it's weird to say, but like if you're happy and like if you're cool with yourself, I wish I had that confidence. Good for you. I, I wish I had the confidence to like tat up everything, like even like tat your neck up or like have crazy hair. Or dress, you know, even dress how you want, shit like that. Cause that, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not brave. I, enough, I'm not brave enough for that stuff, dude. Like for me, like I just think, like, like all my tattoos, like they all mean something, so I don't regret them. But I wish I would have done it differently. So, like, I, 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 for me to think that about stuff that's like tattoos that are meaningful and like have like a perp, not a purpose, but like you know, have a, the yeah, meaning a that like. I can't imagine what these dudes that get face tattoos of like some weird shit are just like 10, 10 years later, like what the fuck did I do? Because you get you get the what is it, the laser removal? Oh and yeah. It's never it's never fully gone. Like your face is yeah, just gonna be not faded. The same. Yeah. I see they have the tattoos yeah. now that are like not permanent, they go away like after I don't wanna what? I wanna say like there's like you can get tattoos now and they go away like after a year. No, I feel like tattoo, like the definition means permanent ink. Right. But I, it's a thing, I guess. The only shit I want is henna. He- That's hey, henna, henna? Henna? Henna, all this shit up right here. Give me like a big old scar. like My Tyson arr. style. Exactly. Um, that is pretty cool, though, that you can like just buy those uh <clears throat> henna tattoos or whatever and like so you can kind of see what it would look like if you got a tattoo yeah also i was like oh you have to be creative so like a stick figure henna is not popping (laughs) hey who has though if you put it on your right hand that's the right hand man go taylor the one who was dummy all right everybody that's all the time that we have for today um make sure you give us a like and a subscribe because We've pretty much had a ton of videos and they're all pretty good. So um, refer us to your friends. Give us some comments if you want us to talk about anything in our future videos. Again, this is Derek and I'm here with Josh, Dave, and Jordan. This was Beyond the Gamer. Peace out. Sorry, guys. Chris's impatient ass is up here in the party just yelling at me, demanding my attention. You tell that Richard to hold on.
talk about professionalism. 